Hey there, Megan Elizabeth with another Make It In Moments video today. Today we're going to do some stickers for our Erin Condren planner. All of July I'm going to be doing a variety of planner reviews, planner how-tos, setting up the planner, all the good things. And today I'm going to use this paper plan clear sticker paper for some print and cut with the Cricut. Lots of ways to do this, but I'm going to show you mine. I'm going to use PicMonkey, but first I want to make sure I have the correct inches to pixels. So I use this inches to pixel converter and it's 1.25 inches, which is 120 pixels by 1.5 inches, which is 144 pixels. And I use this tool often when I'm making stickers just to make sure that when I come into PicMonkey, I can select my custom template to be the correct pixel number. So there it is, um, except for the fact that I forgot it was one and a half by 1.25, not I did the wrong orientation. So we're just going to uh, rotate it and I'm going to zoom in just so I can really have my full space to work with. I want to do a very light gray background because this is a clear sticker. I want to be able to see through it. So I don't want too much color saturation on this clear sticker paper. I want to be able to see the lines of my planner through it. So a light gray works pretty well as a background color. And then I'm just going to label and save it as I go along. So it's just going to be my EC sticker, um, my planner for at the bottom of my page. And I'm kind of looking at the different textures that are available inside PicMonkey to see if I want to play with a texture that's already there. Um, I can do different patterns and designs and um, glitter and all kinds of different things, which you can kind of scroll through and see. I am a uh, pick monkey i do have the paid account i've had this forever i know a lot of people use canva now um pick monkey has just been something i've used literally for the last probably 12 13 years maybe longer um so i'm just playing with the different textures to kind of see they've made a lot of updates and ultimately what i want to do because it is my wild flower Erin Condren planner, I want to add some wildflowers to it. So I played with different wood greens and things like that. Um, even played with the fades so that it wouldn't be like fully color saturated, like I already mentioned. And ultimately, I'm just going to go into the graphics and I'm going to grab some of my favorite flowers. I've used these flowers for um, my She Makes Club documents and my, my, um, journal sheets and different things throughout the years. So I'm going to create my own sticker pretty much using the same uh, kind of design and layout. So I'm just placing these uh, wildflowers or different flowers that are in PicMonkey and just kind of seeing what I want to use, rotating and placing them in the corner. And I will fade them so they're not a full um, color transparent. So you can just add that fade so it really kind of blends in and isn't, again, that like in your face solid you know colors or background even though these are just basically black and white outline flowers um, on top of the gray it looks awesome and i'm just really playing with them and then i'm going to go in and i will grab a um text so i want these stickers to be for at the bottom of my erin condren page and these are going to be my tracker stickers for my sleep and for my macros and for um, whether or not I've done my prayer for the day, um, prayer time, Bible time, reading, all of that stuff will go on here. So I'm just playing with the different fonts, uh, kind of trying to decide, do I want it to be more of a cursive font? Ultimately, yes, I love this Radiant Beauty. I use it often. And I'm going to type in, there's, there's these four lines at the bottom. So I want to make sure that those four lines uh, really space out well. So I'm going to do um, my prayer, my sleep, my macros, and my um, mood. So I'll be like tracking different things, whether I'm having like sickness that day or sick stomach, you know, like anything like that, I can just sort of track at the bottom of, of this page. And I'm just making sure that there's even line spacement, spacement. I just made that word up now. Even line spacing, placement, spacement. That's, that's a fun word. Okay, anyway, moving on. Um, and I do want it to be sort of in the center, but I do want it to have a left alignment. And then I'll just rotate and adjust my flowers to kind of fill in that sticker. And again, keeping in mind, there are lines on the Erin Condren planner. So I do want those lines to come through and have it sort of show up that way. So I'm making sure that the placement of these in that corner will make sense. And you'll get to see a closer look at that uh, as well. So I'm going to save this in PicMonkey. 
and then we're going to go over to Cricut Design Space. And the first thing I'm going to do is grab a square. I'm going to unlock the size proportions and I'm going to do the size 6.78 by 9.03. This is a great sticker sheet template size. Um, yes, you can do larger print printing. This works best for me with the printer that I have and being able to just have it once and done. And I'm going to upload my image, the sticker that we already did. I'm going to do a print and cut upload. So I always do the more intricate design, the, the level three, if you will, because we're not removing anything in the background. We're saving it as a print and cut. And the one thing that happens here, you want to make sure pay attention to the size. We sized it as 1.25 by 1.5 and Cricut resized it. So you just want to make sure you go into that size and have it that it still is that same size, uh, 1.5 by 1.25 for the planner. Then I'm taking and duplicating uh, groups. So you can see here, I'm grabbing all three of these groups of groups of four, and I'm just duplicating that group. So I don't have to continually place each and every one, but they line up beautifully. I'm a little bit um, kind of a space cadet that way. And I like to have things kind of neat and even, um, and I'm going to save it. I'm going to make sure I save this as my EC tracker sticker, and then it's in my design space and I can return to this project if I want to make more. And then I'm going to do make it and you'll see this print and cut come up on here. And I do sort of center it. Um, you don't have to, because you're going to cut these out and it doesn't really matter, but, um, I like to have it done that way and I'm going to do four of these because I have an 18 month planner and I want it on every single week of this of this planner. I do turn on system dialog. I find that it works better for my printer. You don't have to do this, but you do have to um, minimize design space so you can send it to your printer. And then I'm using those clear sticker sheets and printing out all four. Um, and then the Cricut will automatically cut them out. I don't know that I mentioned, but I did show it. I did flatten all of those stickers uh, once I had them all grouped together and removed that background square I deleted that background square selected all of my stickers grouped them and then flattened them and then you can see right here they're all printed out with the outlines they're very clear but they still have that beautiful texture and background and they line up perfectly on the bottom lines of my Erin Condren planner and it cuts out each sticker individually in that 1.5 by 1.25 size. So you can really have a lot of fun customizing stickers for your planner instead of purchasing them. Um, really it's just deciding how many you want to use and have and the sizing that you want. I do stamp a lot in my planner um, because I don't always like the bulk of stickers <laughs> but these uh, clear ones I have found are absolutely phenomenal and you can see the lines through them and really are a lot of fun so I hope you enjoyed this make it a moments video there's a ton more coming inside she makes club and here on the YouTube channel so make sure you like subscribe share hit that notification bell and I will see you again soon with more planner haul and so much fun uh, scrapbooking and crafting videos enjoy the moments bye bye